Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Ron from Ron's uh, Tech and RC channel. Um, kind of an impromptu uh, show here. At, uh, I'm going to put it in my stream as a, um, you know, the normal video here. Um, but uh, I thought we'd do it live. Why, why not? Uh, you know, I don't need to edit this or whatever. It's, um, you know, I'll make this kind of a short and sweet here. Um, uh, some of you may have known Marcus's uh, Femi X8 SE drone has been uh, kind of touring the country lately. It was out in the Midwest. It was with uh, Ryan Duvall for uh, a little while. He ran a couple tests on it. One, he did one real nice video where he uh, tested the camera quality against the uh, the new Mavic Mini uh, that's just been released. And uh, anyhow, when he finished up with his uh, reviews on it, he, um, you know, Ryan sent it to me uh, along with some other drones, which uh, we'll, we'll show here in a minute too. But um, the Feed Me X8 has been a favorite of Marcus's. Uh, he received it in the spring of 2019, and he's done a ton of videos on it. Uh, everybody may remember his first uh, video on the Feed Me that prop blew up on him, uh, you know, not far away, not very high from him. And so it got got off to a very rough start there with, with that that uh, misfunctioning prop, but um, you know, the, uh, Femi did set him replacement props, and uh, the thing's been flying, you know, really good for him since then. It's gone through many firmware updates that have fixed a lot of issues with it. Um, you know, Marcus always talks about how strong of a flyer it is in the wind. It's very fast. It's uh, comparable almost with like the Mavic 2 uh, as far as uh, speed and uh, wind resistance. So, you know, I've really kind of been interested in it. I've never pulled the trigger and ordered one, but, um, you know, I, I may, uh, you know, I may now after, uh, you know, I uh, give Marcus a test. It arrived the other day, but it's been extremely windy. And it's rainy and windy, so I haven't had a chance to get it outside yet. But I did kind of charge the batteries and the controllers up today. Uh, so hopefully I can get out tomorrow. So um, I see we got a couple people in here. We got uh, Hobson's Choice in here, Whizbang99, that's Ken, uh, Mikey B, a.k.a. the Drone Ranger, uh, PD Tech, uh, Jaybird. Um, so uh, thanks for joining everybody. Um, I'm sure you guys probably have already seen Marcus's videos and, uh, you know, have seen him, um, you know, do this stuff a, a million times. But let's, go, let's take a look at it. And it's also a surprise unboxing coming up, uh, you know, after I get done the main event here. But uh, here, here we go right here. Uh, again, it arrived uh, Friday. Marcus uh, sends these in these nice camera bags, like a, a DSR-style camera bag for a full-size DSR, which surprisingly worked very well for these uh, drones. So let's unclip it here. And uh, up top here, we have the, um, the charger for the uh, uh, battery. Um, that's the end that connects to the battery. Uh, this is the brick, of course, and this is the uh, plug. And you can see it comes with a uh, conversion plug. It's got a European plug on it. And it, it give you an adapter for conversion. So this drone was probably not really intended for the U.S. market when it was designed. So um, I've always charged a couple of batteries. It, it charges them pretty fast. Um, the batteries are, you know, like a, uh, you know, like what do you call it, a, uh, a storage charge or whatever. So they weren't all the way down, but um, you know, it did seem to charge them very quickly. So um, we got that, and let's do how you know how you gotta do these things. You gotta say the good stuff for the very end. So um, here, Marcus has an extra battery, so that's nice. Uh, two batteries, actually, here is one in a box, but uh, this is the battery. Um, it's a smart battery. You know, you can uh, push that button and see what the charge is on it. There's the connector pins on the bottom. It's a, um, let me get my magnifying glass out here. Just, oh, man, look real close here. Um, it's a, uh, let's see here, 450 milliamp, 11.4 uh, volt battery for all the battery uh, nerds out there in the audience. So we got two batteries. We're going to test the flight time on these batteries. Uh, Marcus, of course, has broken them in pretty good um, with many flights. So here's a little bit of uh, sparse paperwork here. Here's some stuff Marcus printed out for me. You know, some more uh, details on some stuff you can do. So, and of course, it comes with uh, the connectors for various phones. I have the the lightning cable for the iPhone already on the controller, which we'll get to in a minute. But it also has the uh, uh, the USB C cable, 
and the micro USB cable for your Android style phones, and of course the USB uh, one or USB A on the other end. So, uh, and uh, let's see here in the side pockets here. All right, these are extra props. Marcus has a you know whole bunch of extra props. I mean, these are the um, these are his broken props actually from his accent. These things are look at that. Uh, they may be collector's items. <laughs> um, but uh, they're they're the standard. Um, what do you call these type? Um, you know, they, they go on real easily. The DJI style, uh, um, you know, propellers. Uh, it, it's a buzzword. You you call these type that just kind of clip on or whatever. Quick release props. Is that the is that the right word? So um, you know, we got plenty plenty of props here, and even broken props. So uh, let's get on to the main event here. Here's the um, here's the controller here. Um, nice controller. It expands uh, pretty far. I think I can get my iPad mini in there. I don't know if Marcus ever tried or not. You got your antennas here um, on the bottom. You charge it through a, a micro USB port. And this port here is, of course, to plug your various phone connectors in here. It's, a, of course, a USB a or USB one, I forget the, the proper term for the old school USB. You know, so of course we got our sticks here. It's got a, a switch here, which I think changes the home point. This is your on off button here. This is a kind of like little jewelry stick that the Mavic, uh, the Mavics have, the Mavic one had anyways. Um, this is a take off and, and land button. And on, on the, Front here we have two wheels. This is the gimbal control over here, and this is the exposure control over here. So that's nice, has the exposure. And then you have the two function buttons on the back. I think one of them's mapped to uh, take a photo or a video. I forget what the other one's mapped to, but they probably cust they're probably cu probably customize them. I don't know that for sure. I've dug into the software a little bit, but not enough that I know it by heart so again it's it's a real solid feeling controller has some good weight in your hands feels well made um you know i i like the the feel of it uh you know uh so far without actually using it in the field uh, and also you can kind of tuck the little cable in there so you keep your cables neat while you're flying so um you know, and you charge that of course it's charged up it doesn't you know, put batteries in it and uh here is the um Star of the show here, the uh, Femi X8 SE, um, foldable um, arms here. I'm still getting the hang of which way you fold. I think, you, I think you fold the bottom out first, bottom out first, then top out. Bottom out first, top out. So it's, uh, you know, I'm going to say it's about the size of the, uh, the Mavic. Um, and with a battery, and it feels like about the same weight. I'm going to cover Marcus's number here. Here's the... Uh, little hatch here for the um the us the memory card and it's a usb c in there also so it's right on the side there i'll get that back in them later here's the uh the gimbal here of course the gimbal guard here is just a piece of uh like foam which a lot easier to get on and off of those dji gimbal guards um so yeah here's the camera um 4k um 4k 30 top uh you know top recording uh there. This looks like a fake uh, obstacle avoidance. It's not um, go all the way around the drone here. Uh, on the back here, it's like a light thing. There's some air vents on the back there. On the bottom, we have our um, optical uh, uh, flow sensor and a downward uh, facing sensor up there too. So um, it it does have um, it does know where the ground is over the little Zeno, at least the Zeno one. So, I mean, it, it really seems well-made. Um, you know, there's a metal there. The plastic seems top-notch. Every, everything's, you know, extremely well-made on it. And, uh, and you guys probably have seen a bunch of videos. Uh, Marcus um, ha has done a, a whole bunch of series. Gorilla Man has it. He's done a whole bunch of videos. Um, Al Duran has it. Uh, I I don't know if – I see – hello, Brian. I see True Drone Reviews is in here with his – um, they never gave me the adapter, huh? Oh, so for the European plug. I, I you know, I, I, for a second, Brian has so many drones, I forgot that he had it for a second, but now I do remember his flight. So, um, 
Anyways, let's put this gibble bar back on again. So, uh, you know, I can't wait to get it out. Of course, you know, the when a drone arrives in uh, New Jersey uh, in December, that means that, uh, you know, you may be lucky enough to get one day a week to actually get it out and fly it. So, um, anyways, that's Marcus Crawford's um, Femi X8. Um, but here I got a surprise for you, another unboxing. <laughs> Another drone via Marcus Crawford, the uh, the, uh, the Christmas uh, egg, Mrs. Egg drone. And this one's much better than the one that uh, I had before. This one has a, uh, a camera on. So uh, let me uh, see if this thing's, uh, I don't think I even need the, uh, uh, you know, the, I don't think it's taped here. I guess it is taped here. So let me, let me run and grab my knife. Always forget to bring my knife to the thing. Yeah, about this ages, uh, 14 plus on it look at that nice packaging i hope the egg looks that good inside there's the there's that wand or whatever i never really got the hang of that wand, but i'll i'll practice again we'll we'll definitely make a video maybe fly this right by the tree or hopefully not into the tree all right we're back we're back already sorry for going off camera there so we'll get our knife out here and uh, do a little incision here so let's open this thing up. Forget that Femi X8. This, this is the one I'm really looking forward to. All right. We've got it out of the box. We've got plenty of instructions. Uh, uh, Mrs. Egg here. It's a Air Master shooter. I don't know what that shooting stuff is. Let's do a shooting game. So let's, let's get this kind of on camera here. Unboxing. It's a... Uh, Pack is pretty good in this blister pack here. I probably won't be able to get it off. There's probably more tape here. It's got to be cut. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look, it's got like a little, almost like a little tree stand. I forget the other egg had, had a little stand on it. Let's put that stand back on again. It's soft. Yeah, I forget the other egg had a drone. Look at that. And uh, I forget how you make the arms pop up. It's a button someplace that makes the arms pop up on it. Uh, does that have, I think it may have some has some wrapping on to keep the arms from, from popping all the way up. Let me take, it's like a little rubber band. Let me take that off. There we go. Oh, there, there it is. Look. Oh, one didn't pop up. What is the secret to make them pop up? There we go. That button on the bottom. It's a button down here. So let's put the stand back on it again. Yeah, I can't wait to see that camera quality there. Who knows? This could be. Is this 4K60? Has anybody had this thing yet? And there's, of course, the uh, that wand. Or I guess you'd call it wand. Maybe it's just like Scotty O2. Um, Beacon. And we'll call this the beacon, like Scotty O2. Um, who, who needs a Scotty O2 when you got this with the same type of controller? What else do you get in the packaging here? Uh, looks like you got the extra props, uh, a charger, uh, a um, what do you call it, the prop remover. So you can get everything you need here. You probably just need to throw some batteries in this guy here. And uh, again, I need to brush up on my. Um, my wand, uh, you know, I'm not the best flying that, but uh, I'm going to work on it here. I'm, I'm gonna, not going to disappoint you. I'm going to fly this thing, you know, right around the tree. So let's see here. We got uh, 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 Mike, Mikey B says, uh, uh, no, that's uh, AK uh, 60 frames per second. Yeah, that's got the same specs as that new Altel Evo. Uh, and uh, Jay Burr, he's waiting for the Easter Bunny. I wonder if they will put an Easter Bunny out there, you know. Um Al, Al Duran's in here. Hello, Al. How, Al, Al, you missed it. I had the Femi X8 out a minute ago. It's Marcus's Femi X8. It's been on the road. It's on, it's on tour. It's uh, in New Jersey for this month. So um, we're going to try to get some footage with it. We're going to be real careful with it out there. There's going to be no risky flying but because uh, it's Marcus's drone. Or else I guess I'll, I reckon, I guess I'll be buying a Femi, Femi X8. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, um, 
Brian, thanks for joining us. Uh, Al, I never did figure out a Hallow Bunny and these uh, late Eastern eggs. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Steve B, can you catch some surf and sunsets with the Femi X8? Well, Stevie B, we will head, we will take it down to the beach, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, how many. Well, yeah, well, we still got sunsets. It actually was kind of a. I got I caught a good sunset just this week, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely get it down to the beach and get you some surf and sand uh, videos. Steve Carpenter, I see you in here. Hello, Steve. Uh, good to see you. I hope uh, hope you're getting ready for the holidays out there in Southern California. Um, you know, uh, so yeah, so I, I guess that's all I kind of got uh, for you guys here. Um, who's ready for the Zeno too? Al, I'm ready for the Xeno too. Uh, I wonder if I can do a poll here. Uh, who, who, who's thinking about getting the Xeno too? As Ben said, I think uh, you have the new uh, Scotty Three. Careful with it. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, uh, this thing. Maybe this has uh, a Thomas flying too. Or whatever. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, I tell you, when I had the first egg, it, it did fly kind of more on its own than I flew it. So maybe that was the first great Thomas drone. But um, Al, what do you like most about the Zeno 2? You, uh, you've obviously seen the specs so far. Um, uh, Chris put out an excellent like, kind of overview of it already. Um, Al's already pre-ordered the Zeno 2. Yeah, I know Marcus has too. Yeah, Gearbest has it now. For a three ninety nine for the first thousand orders, so anybody that wants it, you ju jump on it early. Um, Jaybird pre ordered the two. Uh, Jaybird, you had the pro before almost anybody else, and so maybe you'll get fast track for the two. Give it a toss to see. Uh, uh, yeah, it was bad. I, I I will when I get some batteries in it um, or, or charge it up. I don't know. Does this? Yeah. It's this probably charges up. I kind of forget already, but uh, it was. Well, we'll get everything charged up, and uh, we'll definitely get them, get it flying around the tree here. Uh, how the speed on this thing? Uh, it's uh, you know, when you lose control of it, it's flying too darn fast. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, I, I really like the paint job on here. Look, look at, look at how well the. Um, the tree is on there and the green and the red. I mean, this is this is quality work here, really. Um, I'm really impressed. So um Steve B says, I, I bought Albert Kim's used uh Femi X8 today, and hopefully we'll have it before Christmas. Oh, that's great, Steve. Uh, you know, I hope uh hope you do get it. We, what what's today? Today is the uh 14th, so we still have uh uh, what 11 days till Christmas or 10 days that come in the mail. So it's getting close, but uh, I don't know. I don't know where Albert lives. I don't know where you live, Steve, but I imagine if you're not on opposite ends of the country, you got a good chance. Um, to ratify, not much winter's kicking in. It sure is, Brian. Um, you know, I, I think Al's a little bit warmer than us down in Virginia. It's a little more mild here than, uh, well, uh, Brian's out there in Pittsburgh, which, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little bit colder than here at the Jersey Shore. So, um, yeah, all those people battling this, uh, the wintertime coming upon us. Uh, spring's a long way away because winter hasn't officially even started yet. We got a, uh, we got another, almost another week before the official start of winter. So, um, and I expect a lot of people to, um, you know, be getting their, their Scotty O2 soon. So, um, you know, Billy and uh, Ken already have theirs. They put a pretty neat video. They put some pretty neat videos up of it already. Um, of course, it has a few. It's missed a few things. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have uh, telemetry, which was a big miss. And it's a few things. And hopefully they'll get all that fixed up with uh, Furbor updates. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, True drone reviews might be AK the drone ranger. No, has never tried it yet. What uh, I'm trying to look at this last comment. Oh, they, did you ever sell your A3? Um, man, um, you don't hear much about the A3 anymore. There's a lot of buzz about the A3 when it uh, first came out. Uh, I know Marcus had the A3 for a while. I think he's already 
sold his. So, um, man, I mean, the, the Phoebe, the X8 lives on. It just seems to get more and more popular, but the A3 uh, really seems to be a little bit of a dud. Um, so, uh, I wonder if, um, you know, with um, Zeno come out with the Zeno 2, I wonder if uh, Femi has any plans in place to come out with a, uh, you know, a Femi X8 2 or Pro. Um, I mean, you got to think it's, at least it's on the drawing board at some point now. Yeah, uh, True Drone Review says it's not the drone, it's the screen that uh, that sucks. Yeah, that's what everybody says. Um you know, the screen is much worse than looking at your phone, so it's hard to fly in, in the daytime. Al says, I heard the camera uh, fogs up. Uh, fogs up on the, yeah, the A3. Uh, uh, yeah, Marcus had the uh, foggy camera issue. And uh, I think uh, P Perth West uh, RC, that, that, that's Dave over in um, Australia, I think he just took the lens cover off of it and flew without the lens cover and that alleviated the problem. Uh, Mikey B says, yeah, I remember you are too thrilled with the screen. Everybody says that screen, they, they can't see it in the daylight. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know how many nits it has, but it has less nits than almost anything anybody else uses. Then you can't use your phone with it. So, uh, Brian says, it's great to fly when it's cloudy. Yeah, good, good, good cloudy weather drone. That's, <laughs> that's what we all are looking for, huh? Um, so, well, I won't, uh, I won't ramble on too long here, but you know what? Um, I will go for a, a few more minutes here. Uh, in the box uh, that uh, Ryan, Ryan, it's Ryan Duvall over at RD Drones. He, uh, he sent the Femi X8 to me. He had been, um, he had done a couple of reviews and test flights with it. Uh, Marcus had sent it to him first because he's in the Midwest. I'm on the East Coast. So it's kind of on tour. It's make its way across country. But um, he also included some extra drones in it. Um, he included um, a, uh, here it is, an e Sheen E58 pocket drone. I mean, this thing looks just like a little uh, a Mavic 1 uh, clone there. So this one, it could be interesting. It has a HD camera, has Wi-Fi. What's CF? I don't know what CF is. Uh, it must do. Uh, it must do circles. It does has a 360 mode, 2.4 gigahertz. It looks like it has headless mode. It looks like it has a light on you can turn on and off. Um, <laughs> Brian says, "Ah, I gave I gave it to him." <laughs> well, Brian, uh, I'm going to put this thing through its paces. Uh, so it looks like a good one. You know, it looks like a good one here. And then also, here's a real interesting one: the uh, the Potansic D18. Um, it uh, has optical flow positioning. It has a, a hover function. It has FPV camera. Look at that FPV. You could do flight planning on it. Have this mode. I mean, this one really looks good here. I can't wait to um, give this one a try. That with that optical flow, probably probably fly this guy indoors. It, it, you know what this looks like? It looks a lot like the Elfie drone I got a couple years ago. Everybody remember the uh, JJRC Elfie? Um, it was like this little foldable pocket drone, and it didn't come with a controller. You had to fly it with your phone, uh, but it didn't have optical flow, so it was kind of hard to um, you know. Uh, Control at times, but uh, Brian says it flies great, Ron. Good. I, I, I this is the first one I'm going to try out here. This little, uh, this little uh, D18. I never had a good potential yet. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I've only I, I've ha I have one, maybe two potential, and I I, I kind of second you, but maybe this is going to be the game changer here, and then finally. For the the grand finale here, wait until you see what I'm going to bring up now. I have the uh, the L659 um, foldable drone. It's a four channel remote drone. It's from Lishy Toys. I've never heard of that company before. Um, it kind of looks like a similar drone that Brian sent me earlier this year, or this summer. He sent me a JJRC drone, a UFO drone that looked kind of just like this thing. So I don't know if this is, you know, any different or any better than the one Brian sent out. Um, 
Steve Garber looks like Christmas came early to your home. <laughs> yeah, it, it did, Steve. It's uh, you know, it's it's a, it's a drone fill of Christmas here. I mean, this one's full feature here. This one has um, this is foldable headless mode. It has a small print here. It has a barometer, two point four gigahertz, six axis gyro. Um, Intelligent flight modes, gimbal, camera, a wide angle lens. It, it, it says orbits. You can control it with your phone. This thing is this thing is really full featured. I mean, you know, this is this is this going to be a good drone. Right, this is a flying turd. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, maybe this will be an upgrade on that uh, that UFO drone you sent me. In fact, I sent that UFO drone to uh, Marcus at JJRC, but it still sits on his shelf. Oh, and flown yet we always give him a hard time he's got to get that thing uh gotta get that thing out and give it a workout so um yeah well um i i got some news for you guys are you, are you guys all sitting down um I, I uh christmas is also coming on friday i got it i got the email last night like eh, about 9 30 p.m the scotty o2 is on its way it, it'll be here on the 20th which is next friday so um Yep, that Scotty 2 will be showing up, and uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna have to get some kind of a electric skateboard or whatever, so I can do the official uh, follow me test or something like that. Some kind of a moving, small moving vehicle. <laughs> so um, I, I kind of I don't usually do these things alone, so I'm kind of like waiting for somebody else to say something, but 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 nobody is. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I guess that kind of. Uh, we're going to end the show there. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, you know, for everybody popping in. I mean, I didn't even plan on doing this. I just thought, well, I want to do an unboxing of Marks and stuff. So uh, why not do it live? Because it'll be in the, the feed anyway. So, um, you know, uh, same thing. Yeah, uh, Alderan says, uh, get a Corvette convert convertible. Uh, I used to have a bunch of uh, convertible sports cars when I was younger, but uh, uh, I, I don't I don't have anything anymore. And even if I did have a, a Corvette convertible, it's uh, I'd have to drive real slow in this cold weather here. Uh, let's see, uh, Mikey B says, uh, I like when you get the flying turds and you watch them destroy them, except for the fairy drone. I wanted to see that bird fly right. I forgot about that fairy drone. Yeah, Brian can never get that thing sorted out. So, um, uh, uh, Brian, see, be cool down so you can grab the surfboard and use your uh, uh Skydio. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> um, I, I have to get a wetsuit and everything. This guy's still surf down there this time of year, but they got all that gear on because the ocean, I think the ocean's like in, in the upper 40s now. So, um, hey, Ron, 3X drones, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, sorry, I, this is kind of unannounced, but uh, I'm kind of wrapping things up here, I'm kind of said all i had to say i'm kind of fumbling around for words here um and i gotta go get that surfboard for steve b and uh you know uh uh film up but for this guy i hope to get down there with that femi uh femi x8 who knows femi x8 may be a better drone um you know it's at least it's proven uh steve carpenter uh break your bike out and and ride early in the morning on the boardwalk that that's a good suggestion steve except for uh i don't even have a bike i, I, I had ear surgery um uh, i don't know how long ago like 15 years ago or better and uh, i kind of lost my balance uh you know i mean i i relearned it from walking and doing most things but i'm not too good on two wheels anymore so i'm gonna have to go rent one of those three-wheel trikes and uh have a foul me in the boardwalk um so, but, but that is a good suggestion. Um, I, I, you probably can't rent a bike this time of year. I'm sure all the rental shops are probably uh, closed down until, um, you know, the spring. But, um, but I'll figure something out. You know, uh, maybe I'll just walk and run around and, uh, you know, maybe I'll take it up. Uh, maybe I'll take it up on the Ocean City Boardwalk the day after Christmas when Ken Heron's having his meetup down there and, uh, you know, fly, you take Scotty up there and let it do its stuff. But, um, anyways, um, I've kept you guys on here too long. We've kind of opened everything. Uh, well, we didn't open everything, but we showed everything we got here on the, on the desk here. And, uh, I'm going to be busy, uh, reviewing drones and test flying and everything here. So, um, if I don't talk to 
anybody who's in here, I don't talk to them again. I wish you a Merry Christmas or if, uh, if you're not happy holidays, whatever your faith may be, you know, or religion may be. I hope everybody has a, a good, good holiday. Um, and uh, thanks for, um, you know, pop, doing this pop up uh, thing here. Um, so uh, 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 real, real quick, Steve B says, can you have a file an RC car? Well, you know, that's a good question. We can try. I know it said it can file cars, but I don't know if it can file something um, that, that small. But um, anyways, so I was wrapping up. So I want to thank Marcus and Ryan for sending me all these goodies. Brian's been supplying me most of the year with uh, 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 drones, t goodies to review. But uh, now I'm getting more help here. So um so I'm going to be a busy man. So um, good night, everybody. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, and uh, keep them flying and keep them flying safe. Good night, all.